I'm Stanley Isherwood, and I'm with the Coburg Museum and the Sifton Cook Heritage Centre. Today it's my privilege to introduce you to one of the most amazing characters to call Northumberland County home. His real name is William Hunt, but we know him as the Great Farini. Hunt was actually born in Lockport, New York in 1838. But when he was just five, his family moved north and made their home in a number of places nearby, finally settling in Port Hope. In a strict household, young William was a rebel and early on was bitten by the circus bug. Learning to walk the tightrope was just a start, but a start on the road to both fame and fortune. First, he performed spectacularly over Port Hope's Ganaraska River. And then over the murderous Niagara Falls Gorge. Now he was truly the great Farini. As Farini, he soon became truly involved in circus life, performing throughout continental Europe, England, South America and the United States. At the same time, and just as importantly, he was training a number of protégés, including Lulu, his adopted son, Zazel, the human cannonball, and Creo, the missing link. When not completely involved in circus life, Farini decided that it would be fun to be an African explorer, an inventor, a lecturer, and an author. He did return home from time to time, and after being trapped in Germany with his German wife during the First World War, William Hunt came back to Port Hope to stay. It was there that he died at the grand age of 90, and it is there that he is buried. His unassuming grave gives little indication of the amazing life led by one William Hunt, a.k.a. the Great Farini. <laughs>